muse cells. Multi-lineage stress enduring cells are non-cancerous pluripotent stem cells found in all connective and fat tissue in the human body. These cells are highly resistant to severe cellular stress and are involved in daily minute repair. Dr. Mari Dezawa, who has been researching mu cells and their regenerative potential in Japan, spoke with us about her work. Mu cells are reparative stem cells that maintain our body uh, homeostasis in a micron level. So they are uh, residing in a bone marrow. They uh, constantly uh, mobilize the peripheral blood and then they are distributed to nearly every organ to maintain every organ's homeostasis by repairing at micro level. They are produced main, mainly uh, what we assume is the bone marrow. And then they are mobilized to the peripheral blood and distributed to every organ. They are produced in our body. So whenever we uh, uh, perform the experiment, uh, we take the bone marrow or other tissues, in, even from the peripheral blood, and then we collect the mule cells as uh, prepotent surface marker positive cells, namely SSES3. So when we obtain the uh, tissues or the samples from uh, um, some, you know, the biopsies, and then we will take a mule cells and then expand it. Otherwise, we can also harvest mule cells from commercially available mesenchymal stem cells and fibroblasts. And those commercially available cells usually contain uh, one to several percent of the mule cells. So that will be also expandable. Well, mule cells are actually a part of mesenchymal stem cells that correspond to one to several percent. But it's not exactly the same because mule cells are prepotent, but mesenchymal stem cells, I mean, the remainder of the cells in mesenchymal stem cells are not prepotent. Well, in Japan, uh, we're plotting both basic research uh, for characterizing mule cell property, as well as we're also preparing a clinic, preclinical studies. The aim to deliver the mule cell uh, treatment to uh, various kind of diseases. As far as we um, investigated, the mule cells are harvestable from a broad spectrum of mammalian animals. For example, uh, mouse, rats, and rabbit, and uh, swines, and monkeys, and humans. So we all succeeded in collecting purported mule cells by using SSCS3, and they are shown to be able to differentiate into nearly every kind of the cells in our body. There are no side effects as far as we saw. So because, this is because mule cells are maintaining our body daily, and they are able to accumulate to the damaged site when they are circulating by using sulfingosine monophosphate receptor. And then they spontaneously differentiate into a cell that make up a tissue and they repair and replace the cell that are damaged or lost in a tissue in micro level. Well, the mule cells already uh, applied to clinical study in Japan, uh, conducted by Life Science Institute company, that's a group company of the Mitsubishi Chemical Holdings. So uh, the clinical trials are now in acute myocardial infarction, stroke, and the epidermal lysis blues. Yeah. So they're already delivered to the human. And we are evaluating safety as well as efficiency. As far as we see, uh, there are no serious side effects. Yeah, we are already accumulating patient data. Uh, Life Science Institute and Mitsubishi Chemical Holdings are aiming to get uh, final approval by 2020 or somewhere like that. Yeah. So you will, if, if the clinical studies are going well, then we will also hoping to open it for the United States as well as in other countries. Mu cells appear to be the breakthrough in stem cell therapy that we have long been waiting for to reverse heart attacks, strokes, and a wide array of other diseases. 
we look forward to seeing the data collected from Dr. Dezawa's research in Japan and hope it will become successful as a standard of care in the future of regenerative medicine. This is DJ Rock for 713 News.